Hey, what is up? The Dead Man Tournament is here. Happens every three months, 10 times XP. They actually unlocked a whole bunch of quests for us this time, and it's four times the drop rate for like visages, abyssal whips, dragon plate skirts, bandos, items, everything. So you'll be sure to see everyone stacked out. They even added PvP weapons like the Morgan Javelin, Stadius Warhammer, Vesta Longsword, all those type of items to the, the wildy monsters if you do kill them. So it's just gonna be an insane tournament. Make sure you guys check out the other videos I will be posting trying to do a video every single day also leave a comment below if I should go for ancients or I should actually get lunars because uh, that's that's my big you know my problem I'm thinking about of what I should do so leave, leave your opinion I am very curious but let's get into it guys hopefully you enjoy I'm an experienced player let's do this two minutes in send me to the mainland I guess we'll go to Varrock first get that 10k and there it is the 2k I would assume all these players with skulls are actually people that misclicked uh, you know with the player attack option off right when they left the safe zone. They're not actually PKers So there's not much to worry about. Hey, what's up, man? Yes, give me that grain sack one more level to go 10k. I honestly hate this part. I've died so many times Let's uh, try and let these people go first. Oh, man. This door is taking so long. I don't want to be the last in the pack. Oh No, okay, here we go. Wish us luck these things hit like eights, I think. At least seven or nines even, to be honest. So yeah, we'll just keep booking it through here. Oh man, there's a green skull. That is so shitty. Hopefully he doesn't attack us. We're just gonna book it. We do not want to get picked off by him. No PKers in sight. We may be able to get this 10k and dip out of here. And then I still have to get on the alternative account. I do have one other account unlocked. And uh, yeah, uh, it feels good, you know, not getting PK with the 10k. It's been many times of me losing it, actually. Looks like everyone is just home teleporting. Oh, a blue skull coming, please. Let's tell you out. Wow, that is disgusting. All the level threes dropping their, uh, like, pots and whatnot. Definitely gonna want to turn uh, item overlay off. We actually just got 20 attack, 20 strength, and I do want to buy a hand cannon. Wait, wait, that's the wine cellar. 20 attack and 20 strength. I do want to get a hand can- Oh, wait, there's no cannon anymore. Oh man, I guess we'll just buy the Chronicle and buy, yeah, buy a couple of teleport cards and then just keep questing, I guess, and try and get like, uh, you know, the dragon skimmy as soon as possible. I'm not sure what we're going to do until then. Yeah, we just got the cabbage cape and uh, I'm pretty sure we're going to get PK'd less because, you know, I'm blending into the grass now. Feels good. Hey, brass amulet looking very sexy. We're only like 15 minutes in still, so, you know, we're doing pretty good. 25 strength we're already 32 combat as well almost and look at that inventory 42 water runes that's like 120 gp Ooh, give me that talisman right there people need that for quests and whatnot sell it for uh, a couple k now thinking about it i will have to do the quest for the pity and you need a full black armor set granite and then for lunar you know you need all the talismans so i probably am gonna buy that stuff later on today so i can get it cheap because on day five you could pay like 50k for a full black set or even like 20k a granite item because you know no one wants to go out there and mine the granite themselves and there could be clans so yeah 30 strength right there almost 25 prayer as well <laughs> just picking up these little bones and burying them i'm gonna head to hill giants in just a couple levels so i can start getting big bones and then maybe get you know like 43 prayer but then i might just go kill green dragons as well and if you guys don't know the green dragons drop double dragon bones also every creature in the wilderness has a chance to drop the new you know pvp weapons morgan's javelins the throwing axes vesta longsword if someone happened to get a vesta longsword I think they'd win the tournament honestly it's like an ags plus it has four special attacks and you could use it like a long sword and it has you know very very fast attack speed so that weapon's gonna be insane probably worth like 25 to 30 mil and you know people do transfer on 07 and i could see it being like 200 mil to 300 mil 07. also pretty big news i actually skimmed over it like a week ago but i totally forgot and I just realized that all the quests, well not all of them, but some of the big major quests that like I would need to do the first day are actually already unlocked. 44 quest points, Animal Magnetism, you know, Druidic Ritual, Death Plateau, which means you can get the Climbing Boots, Grand Tree, Tree Gnome Village, and they even did Monkey Madness 1. So I can get a, you know, Dragon Skimmy. And you know, last time quests like Monkey Madness were camped for hours by clans. I think I died a couple times, like three times. I think Mika died like six times or like five 
And man, it's just, it's such a problem to do these quests when there's one world and it's all PvP. Yes, there it is, 40 strength, 45 minutes in as well. Like we're doing very well. Thanks for the 20 coins, bro. I do have 88 bronze bolts. I know these things sell for like four to five GP, so I'll just hang on to them for just a bit, maybe an hour or two until someone gets like a, a crossbow. No way, oh my freaking God, you got a Zuriel staff? Look at these free runes. People are just leaving this stuff around. Apple tree seed as well. The loot. So yeah, the plans are getting 30 agility. Then I'm gonna head over to Camelot and buy stews because uh, you can't buy any food in the GE for more than 200 GP, which is quite a bit. So uh, we're gonna do that. Then head over to Vanica with 40 combat and go get our first Slayer task. Yes, finally 30 agility. We're gonna head back to, uh, we're actually gonna go to Cami and get those stews because the stews are like 12 or 20 GP. They heal the same as a lobster almost. Nice, nine magic level, just walking 15 feet. That's insane. Hey, look, it's cattails. 48 combat already. Very nice, very nice. Oh, that free XP, I can't turn it down. So good. 15 mage already walking there. Pretty fair training spot in here as well, I must say, because there's no people everywhere else in Lumbi is like extremely packed. 20 coins, nice, it's that quick. All right, I'm just gonna spam through this, get a whole bunch. I will have to get 61 crafting later on. I'm not sure how I'm gonna get that, either like gems or just cow hides, or I could AFK and like make a video or something while I do the flax. And there it is, another inventory. These things are so good to get. I'll probably get one more inventory and honestly train here, because this guy's kind of AFK. And I uh, might as well get 40 attack as well, then go and do Slayer. 40 attack. Can now uh, use the rune skimmy, although I do not have the gold for one of those. I'm sure they're like 50k right now because, you know, Waterfall Quest is one of those quests that wasn't unlocked. So no one is killing fire giants, I would assume. Ah, uh, man, that is not a good sign. A death pile. We are going to go get our task finally. I'm a little nervous because Edgeville is like, you know, there, there's just so much PKers lurking around. No way, 110 hill giants? Oh my god, that is the best task I could ever get. I was actually gonna go kill him anyway. Yes! But yeah, I definitely need to set my F keys. Helps out a lot, especially if I'm like getting PK'd. But uh, yeah, these zombies are gonna attack me. I'll do it in a bit. Get this brass key. We should be good to go. The only problem, it's extremely packed here. I should have brought a bow at least, and then I could like attack them and then go in for the melee. This sucks actually. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do. Damn. A45 strength, already 17 Slayer, just off of like four of these, and I did clear out just a bit. I have like one or two open hill giants, except this guy always half kills it, so annoying. A25 Slayer level, we actually just picked up an Iron Full Helmet, looking very sexy. These are the stats right now, 41, 46, 41, slowly carving away. Finally, the hill giants cleared out just a bit like I got two or three to myself Which is awesome and I can hit like sevens or eights now. So a 45 defense creeping in right there 45 hit points like I said earlier if we get 50 I am uh, I'm sure we won't actually get specked out by a dragon dagger because you know They could hit a 25 25 especially with the ruin or dragon defender and there it is finally 45 attack the last 45s and uh, yeah, moving on to the 50. I'm actually probably going to have to bank pretty soon. We just got 30 Slayer as well. Almost out of food and stews. How much will these sell for? Oh, that's actually not bad. Like 700 GP. I think I'm going to go to Champions Guild and get a black helmet and legs and then get a mithril plate body, possibly. 21.6k for an Addy plate body. Oh man, that's too expensive. We'll probably just go with the, with the black play legs. We do have an iron helmet right now, which is kind of pathetic. But yeah, I'll probably just get the mithril plate body and we should be good. Yep, we're getting an iron play body. I know it's pathetic, but I'm actually going to switch over to monk's robes very soon. And I only have like, you know, 6.5k. So do I want to spend 5.2k on a mithril play body? And then, you know, I couldn't get like potions or any type of supplies for anything I need. So probably not the smartest idea. Oh man, we got some PK airs coming in. This guy is getting savaged over here. I think I just saw a 15 from that girl. And uh, yeah, that's that's pretty spooky. Two of them as well. I just got a six nature rune drop. That's not bad at all. I think those things are like 300 each. So that's 1.5k, almost 2k cash. Oh yeah. 35 prayer and 34 slayer. 50 hill giants left. 50 attack right there that was the first time um the level actually showed up on screen because if it's before 50 people were complaining that you get the level so quick and it would annoy people so they got rid of it actually what's this guy doing over here he's about to die and he, he's flicking prey mage 
Bro, it's Prey Melee. What if he's botting? Like, what is he doing? This guy is gonna freaking die. Oh my gosh, let's clear this screen. Why don't take like a screenshot of this? What's what's this guy doing? Wait, why does it say that bowl is 99 gold pieces? Might as well pick that back up to be honest. Oh, six nature rune drop again. Nice. Loot, loot, loot. Will I get it before these guys? Oh, sniped. Yes, very special moment. 50 strength and 60 combat overall that's freaking awesome like it's it's still only you know three hours in two hours and 30 minutes i'm probably actually gonna get 60 attack without training strength so i can maybe get a dragon skimmy if my alt has enough money by then i'm actually walking up um right now to fire giants that's the first task i got and yeah maybe i'll, I'll film it if i get like a cool drop or anything but i doubt it and there it is, the end of the task. Let's go grab another one of Vanica. I could maybe go to like Chadlar the Fairy, but um, I'd have to do the quest, Lost City, and I don't think I'm high enough combat. Like, I'm, I'm just not good enough, you know? I'm still too newbie with the iron and whatnot. Yeah, no XP waste, 51 HP. What's the task gonna be? Ogre, 68 of them. That, that's still like a pretty good task, I guess. Maybe I should get the, um, the Ring of Dueling and then teleport out there. So I was killing fire giants on my alt and I was about to leave because I got wrecked and didn't bring enough food and I had one emblem drop and I died like right next to the mage arena. Ah, uh, super salty about that. But yeah, we're just going to run and uh, go kill ogres now. No one's selling a dual ring for like three and a half K, which is super depressing. So yeah, we're just going to run there. Ooh, we just hit a 10 right there. Eight. Damn, looks like our DPS is really stepping up. If I get a rune skimmy... Or enough gold for, oh, 55 attack. Enough gold for uh, dragon skimmy. We could be, you know, pulling off like 15s and 20s by now. But definitely the hits are really, you know, stepping it up. Ooh, that guy's skulled over there. Gotta watch out. Uh, I'm getting totally swamped by these ogres. I'm definitely gonna have to go, like, get mage or something, man. They're just hitting me way too much. Only 45 defense as well with the iron. Not standing a chance. Oh, dang, another one, man. Free XP. Another one as well. Five free big bones. Aw, oh, yeah. Yeah, we just finished our second Slayer task. Infernal Mages. We had like 110 of them. Took an hour plus, and we used uh, the Training Sword for like 80% of the task. My alternative account actually got two Emblem Drops, which means you can buy a Dragon Scimitar from the shop. So, uh, you know, that's definitely going to speed up the training. And looking at the stats, 62-62, definitely very close to getting like, you know, a, a Dragon Defender. And they made the drop rate of the Dragon Defenders and all Defenders half of that rate, which is awesome. And on top of all of the gains, we have a huge surprise, like the best weapon in the freaking game, a Vesta's Longsword. My friend actually got it as a drop, and he's letting me hang on to it just for like a day or two. And uh, if he doesn't sell it, I guess I can keep it. So that's really freaking awesome. And uh, yeah, guys, leave a like if you did enjoy. And make sure to check out all the other series I do post, like, you know, every single day. I'll try and keep up on that. Hopefully you have a good one. See ya.